Two young children and their grandmother are missing tonight after evacuating from their home during the car fire. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. I'm Adrian Moore. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live in Reading tonight with a desperate search. Macy? Well, Adrian and Tony, Reading police say nine people are missing as the car fire continues to turn this area upside down. Ed Bledsoe says three of them are the center of his world. The last phone call he got was from a five year old saying, Grandpa, you need to come home. I want God to help me out. Help me get him. The man under the black hat and suspenders puts on a brave face amidst the chaos. Yeah, I was with him. And... But Ed Bledsoe is torn apart, not knowing the whereabouts of his wife Melody or great grandchildren Emily and James Jr. We don't know where they went. He says he left the house to run a quick errand. The fire still eight miles from his home. Call and said, Grandpa, you need to come. The fire's coming at our house now. Fickle winds stirred up the flames, throwing fire in different directions. At one point, these flames jumped from one side of the Sacramento River to the other side, covering the water in debris and ash. So that's the wearisome thing is that where do you go that's safe? Shopping centers in town deserted while locals like Martin Clark are at home trying to protect their properties. Check it every once in a while and take a look to see if I can see anything active going on. Meanwhile, Bledsoe continues his frantic search. So you and your wife have been taking care of these children for how long? Yeah, their whole life. He says cadaver dogs found nothing near his now burned down home, and he's hoping that's a sign his loved ones are still alive. I just can't see how I can go without them. Somebody has to know where they're at. Now, I spoke to a Red Cross spokesperson. He told me that this is a page on their website you can go to and search for family members that are missing. You have tips for contacting loved ones. And if you are here at the shelter, you can go onto this page on the Red Cross's website and see if you can type in their names. I'll send got it back to you in the studio. Yeah, got a feel for him. Hopefully, they'll find them soon. Macy, thanks.